In this video, we will discuss the benefits associated with using a heat pump in facilities that require simultaneous heating and cooling, rather than a traditional parallel chiller boiler design. We'll focus on larger water-to-water -water commercial and industrial heat pumps, but note that York has a wide portfolio of heat pump solutions, including residential and light commercial air-cooled applications as well. So what is a heat pump? Well, ASHRAE defines a heat pump as a device which extracts heat from a source and transfers it to a sink for beneficial use. In buildings, examples of these sources could be people, lighting, electronic equipment, or thermal influences from the ambient environment. And in large commercial or industrial facilities, sinks could be space heating, reheat for humidity control, process heating, or domestic hot water requirements, such as the example shown. In a traditional simultaneous heating and cooling installation, chillers are generally used to extract heat from the space, the source, and reject it through the cooling tower to the atmosphere, the sink. Simultaneously, boilers are typically used to meet the heating requirements of the space. And hospitals and district energy plants are prime examples of such installations. Now, when a heat pump is introduced into this system, we are able to move away from the traditional design and recover or quote unquote recycle that source heat that would normally be rejected. Oftentimes this means building owners can significantly reduce or even eliminate the need for a boiler, meaning if a heat pump can satisfy the facility heating needs and provide some beneficial cooling at the same time as it's controlled by the heating requirement, a boiler may not be necessary, or perhaps the boiler may only be used as a supplementary source of heating rather than the primary, which yields massive building owner benefits. So why is this a better design? Simply because this is a much more efficient and therefore economic means of delivering the required cooling and heating to the building. Let's consider the simple example of a heat pump designed to make chilled water at 41 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius and condensed water at 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. For every unit of source heat absorbed by the evaporator, it takes about 0.35 units of heat in the form of compressor work or the heated compression, to move that heat to the condenser and raise the leaving fluid temperature to the required higher temperature. Therefore, a total of 1.35 units is available to recycle, which when you work through the math yields a system efficiency of approximately 6.7. And how does that compare to a conventional system using a chiller and boiler? Well, if you assume your chiller and boiler have industry average efficiencies as shown, the resulting math shows that the heat pump, by direct comparison, is five times as efficient as the conventional system. That's right, five times, not even close. And the sizing and control of the heat pump is pretty straightforward. Looking at a basic example, suppose a building has a cooling load represented by the blue line and a simultaneous heating load represented by the red line, meaning this building has a year-round need for both with that need largely ebbing and flowing depending on the season. Now the dotted red line represents the heat available from the cooling load, including the compressor work. Knowing this, we should design this heat pump for the capacity where the solid red line crosses the dotted red line. Therefore, it could satisfy all of the cooling requirement for the building when the heating load is dominant, and all of the heating requirement for the building when the cooling load is dominant. Beyond that, in this case, Supplemental chillers and boilers would still be required to complement the heat pump, but the resulting COP of the system is much, much higher, meaning all of the green shaded area is the 6.7 COP discussed earlier as compared to running the chillers and inherently inefficient boilers independently. Because of this, York has well over 100 installations of large water-to-water -water heat pumps globally, and many of our clients have seen investment paybacks of less than a year. High performance environments for life.